Today's video is a shop my stash for spooky season. I have not done one of these videos in quite a long time. I went through all of my eyeshadow palettes and picked out the scariest ones. And I also have a huge basket of other products. For this shop my stash and for those going forward, I will kind of be doing it in the style of a panning project. Let's get into it and I'll explain. Hey howdy, hey y'all. My name is Leanna and I am an almost 60 year old beauty and makeup enthusiast. And it is my passion to help you be more confident, show yourself some self-love, build up that self-esteem, all through the magic of makeup. As I said, I have a lot of products and what I want to do is I picked quite a few different products in each category and I have to use them at least three times throughout the entire month of October and then I will decide, is it stash? or trash. <laughs> I know everybody loves a good declutter video, but the only declutter videos that I normally do are my eyeshadow palettes, and I have a ton of the rest of this makeup, so I will be decluttering it as I go. This might end up being a long video because along with this big giant basket, I have all of these scary eyeshadow palettes. And I'm going to change the view. I'm going to bring you down so that you can see my desktop. We're going to do some swatches and go over all of these products. So you might need a drink, get you a snack, a shot of tequila. Let's do it. So just to give you a little context, I will be giving you the total number of product that I have in each of the different categories. And the reason why I have so many of these mostly is because a lot of these products I received in my subscription boxes when I was getting, you know, three or four <laughs> different subscription boxes every month. So now I have all of these products. I need to try them out. And like I said, are they going to be stash? Are they going back into my stash? Or are they going into the, into the trash? So starting out with face primers, I have a total of 44 <laughs> face primers in my inventory. Nobody needs that much. So we're going to start off with this Mally Beauty. This is the Ever Color Poreless Face Defender. And I remember... Let me move these out of the way. I remember hearing so much about this product. You don't really hear that much about it now. This is the Universal Face Defender. And it is, it is a clear, like, silicone-feeling primer. And it comes with this special sponge to put it on, applicator, in this nice little bougie bag. So, I, like I said, I need to use these at least three times. I go to work five days a week. I'm pretty sure that I can get all of that done. I'm going to Throw the box in the trash. This is the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. And I remember when I first got this and tried it, that I really liked it. I feel like it is starting to dry out a little bit. But it almost has the same consistency as that Mally. So, and I have used it because it has a blue dot on it. The Huda Beauty. I ordered the Easy Blur foundation. And of course it says to use this primer with it. I have not opened it. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to do a ded dedicated video on this primer and the... The foundation so you'll see that 
this is my Lancome primer that they sent to me in PR. This is Priming Serum. It's a 24-hour hydrating solid smoothing primer and it came with the little applicator. It is a, like it says, it's a solid primer and you have your little scoop to scoop it out. I have used it. It's been a hot minute so I don't remember exactly how I liked it. For my foundations, I have 53 foundations. I have more foundations than anybody needs, especially when I don't even like foundation. <laughs> I mean, I'm not crazy about liquid foundation. I do love my powders. If you've been with me a minute, you know I love my powders. So I, of course, had to put a powder in here. I'm currently using a Fenty powdered foundation and I'm going to keep using that because I have panned it and I want to see how much of that I can finish up by the end of the year. But I am bringing in this Milani powder foundation. This is Even Touch and it is O2 Fresco. I don't even know if you can still get this. That's how long I've had it. I'm also going to use this L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is the 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. When I tried this, it did not seem to be the right shade. But now that we're going into winter, it might be okay. The Tear Tear Mask Fit Red Cushion. I will be doing a dedicated video on this as well. This is the sample, not the full size. I got this on Amazon for $11. That's the little applicator. It has a little palette. And there's the actual product. And when I used it, I did a video where I had it on, I didn't, I don't think in that video I said what foundation I had on and there were so many compliments in my comments so it looked really good on my skin. I got 21 in ivory which I think is just a little too light for me but you know with bronzer and blush I made it work. And then the Huda Beauty Easy Blur. I'm excited to use this. The shade that I have is Toasted Coconut. I have not opened this at all. I'm sure that y'all have seen this all over YouTube. Let's swatch just a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I think that that's going to be a good shade. Might be a little too yellow, maybe just a little bit. We'll see. It feels nice. For concealer, <laughs> I only have 10. Concealers are not a problem for me. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It has a satin finish. And it is in the shade Light Sand. For contour, I have six contour products. These contour products, I will probably use one of these every two months. I will not roll them in and out every time. But this is the She Glam. It's very gray, very cool tone. I've had this for a while and it still looks good. It still smells good, so I'll be using that for a total of two months. For bronzers, I have 32 bronzers. I did not break that out into cream, powder, and palette. I will next time because I'm working on that. But I do have a powder, the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is for lighter skin, which will be good for me in the winter time. It is a very nice bronzer. It has a nice smell to it. 
smells like summertime. And then I will be using this e.l.f. putty bronzer. And it is in the shade Honey Dip. That's a nice bronzer. I like how it goes from cream to powder. Very nice. For blush, y'all. <laughs> I don't really have a problem with blush. Like, I'm not, you know, going crazy running around buying blush. Most of these came out of subscription boxes. And I have 84 blush products. That's cream, powder, liquid, and palettes. And I don't know why I didn't. Well, I guess that's kind of sort of considered a cream but I should have pulled a liquid, and I may go back and pull one. By the way, as a caveat, if I use something and I instantly... Normally, you instantly know whether or not you like a product. So if I'm using that product and I instantly don't like it, then I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the trash pile and pull another product. Because I have a lot of products to get through. Anyway, we're going to start off with this Miss Rose blush palette this came in the clever beauty box which was a huge fiasco i absolutely 1000 percent do not recommend that you do that subscription box but this is a k beauty brand this is cruelty free and it looks like it's going to be a nice palette for the fall season. It's nice and pigmented. Oh, look how pigmented that is. Holy cow. Then we have this Lumi Radiant Brush from AOA Studios. I am not a fan of shiny blush. This to me looks more like a highlighter than it does a blush. It is a baked formula. You see how shiny it is? Yeah, I don't know about that, y'all. Very shiny. To me, that looks more like a blush topper. Yeah, see, it's pretty over top of that. So we'll see about that one. This is the Delance Cheek Blusher. And it is a very odd looking shade to me. But when I tried it, it looked so pretty on my skin. So it shears out and is very nice. It, it looks to me like a very nice fall shade. Persona. I love the Persona blush. It is very pretty. This is Caramel, and I have used this quite a bit. Very, very pretty shade. And the last is the Winky Lux. I bought this strictly because of the packaging and how pretty it was. My camera does not want to focus. But I haven't used it. And, you know, what's the purpose of having a product that you're not going to use? So I don't know if I can get a good swatch. Let's swatch it right here. Very pretty. It's nice and creamy. It blends out nice. So those are my blush shades. For my highlighters, I have 60... <laughs> Ooh, I have 68 highlighters. And again, quite a few of those came in subscription boxes, but I'm not going to lie, there have been quite a few that I have purchased. So, I mean, I purchased the e.l.f. too, but... This e.l.f. is so pretty. It is 
white gold. And I love the embossing on it. It's a very soft highlighter. Very pretty. And this Sydney Grace is a cream highlighter. And it is in the shade Happy Thoughts. And I have used it because it has a blue dot on it. Very, very creamy. I love their cream highlighters. Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And then when I saw this Tarte palette, I had to have it. <laughs> because it is... A baked formula and it is gorgeous. This shade is quite dark for me though. The shades are Champagne Blur, Best Selling Sunlit, and Bronze Glow. And they're gorgeous. This is called the Shape Tape Glow Bar. Very pretty. That bronze shade actually would be a nice bronzer for me, I believe. I mean, it's got a little bit of a glow to it, but it's not too bad. And that's actually really, really pretty on my skin. So I'm excited to use it because I have not used it at all. And then I have two face palettes. I have the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette, and this is a Sephora blush palette, but it does have a highlighter in it. This is called Spice Market, and it is perfect for the fall. Look at how that is just beaming. Beautiful shades. They're even pretty blended together. See, this is how you play with your makeup. Very pretty. I look like I have a sunburn. <laughs> Has a blue dot. That means that I have used that palette before. And I have used this one as well. This also is a very pretty palette. And now the other three are highlighters. I believe that's a blush topper. Very pretty palette. For eye primers, I have 30 eye primers. So I'm using two per month, and I actually have one that is in one of my panning projects. And I'm almost done with it, as you can see. It is almost gone, so I will continue to use this one as well until it's gone. Eyeshadow sticks. I believe I have 18 of these. And so I am using two a month. And I decided to use these e.l.f. These are the Mint Melt, these two. I've had those for quite a long time. And then this is the No Budge Shadow Stick. Very pretty. This is the shade Rich Amethyst. And then we have Mint For You. Which is quite bright. And then this one is Melt With Me. Is that what that says? Which is a nice brown. I am not doing any single eyeshadows in my Shop My Stash. 
I have 442 single eyeshadows, and that doesn't even include what I have slated to be depotted, but I will be doing some BYOP videos using my single shadows. Eyeliners. <laughs> I have 64 eyeliners, so I have quite a few that I need to attempt to use. This is a ColourPop liquid liner, and it is in the shade Why Not. It is a very pretty wine colored, perfect for fall. This is ColourPop as well. This is the Raw Beauty Christie collab that she did with ColourPop. And this is in the shade Woodsy, which is a brown. This is also from her collab. This is in the shade Marigold, which is a beautiful mustard shade. This is Laura Geller. I have two of these Laura Geller eyeliners. And I have used both of them. This one is Smoky Taupe. And they're large. They're quite large to be an eyeliner. But that's what it says. They're very soft. Very, very soft. This one is dark brown. These are coal. And this one, even though it says dark brown, I don't know if you can see it because my camera does not want to act right. It has a sheen to it. And it almost looks like a bronzy type shade. I'm excited to try those. And the last one is Wayne Goss. This is a another coal pencil. And this is in the shade Copper Flame, which is a perfect fall type shade. Mascara, y'all. <laughs> I have 74 mascaras. What? Why? Why? This is not a mascara. This is Milk Makeup Kush Lash Primer because I want to give that a try. Great Lash. Y'all all know what Great Lash is, right? This is Laura Geller Everyday Excellence Defining Mascara in black that I've never used. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I've had this for a while. It kind of looks like it's a little dried up, but this is why I'm doing this is so that I can use them. and either stash or trash. This is Kajer Weiss, and it is in the shade black as well. Oh, that looks terrible. Did the stopper come out of it? Yes, it did. Okay, there we go, that's better. I do like the brush on this. And it still smells all right, so. I'm not funny about using stuff, so <laughs> we're just going to use it and see what happens. I don't have a lot of brow products, so I'm just going to use the brow product that I'm currently using in a panning project, and that is my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow. This is in the shade Grind, which is what I'm wearing. So I'm just going to continue to use that. Who puts false lashes in their shop mustache? Do people actually do that? Well, here we are. Because I have 34 false, false lashes. And I do like them. I just, my biggest problem is I get up too late in the mornings and I don't have time. 
So actually testing myself and testing out these products, I'm hoping that I will get up early so that I can use these because look how beautiful they are. Look at these Natasha Denona. I've had these for a while. They are gorgeous. The MAC, too, with that thin, thin band on them. And even the Ardell. I like the Ardell. Look, have I worn these? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, three lashes. And then we have setting powders and finishing powders. And I have 34 total, so that's three a month, but I pulled four because the setting powder, this looks kind of yellow to me. Do y'all know what, I mean finishing powder. This finishing powder looks kind of yellow. Do y'all know the difference between a setting powder and a finishing powder? The setting powder sets your makeup to make it last, and the finishing powder finishes it off. It, it helps give it that blur or airbrush look. Some of them will give you a little bit of a glow. That's what your finishing powders are. So I have two finishing powders here. I have the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. This is the original shade but it is a finishing powder and then the undone beauty this is under over powder it's glow giving with coconut extract it's two in one prime and set it says is it a finishing powder it's a banana bear banana bear that's why it looks kind of yellow i don't know how i'm going to like that but we'll see and then these are setting powders this is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. It is a very finely milled, nice powder. And then the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder, which is also very finely milled, it looks like. So I have 16 setting sprays, so I'm not going to rotate those. As you can see, I don't have very much left of this LYS. I have been using it in a panning project, so I want to finish it. I'm almost done with it, and then when this one is done, I will pull out another one and finish that one. Lip products. I don't know how many lip products I have. I'm working on that. I just went through my lip products. And these are all the ones that I am already decluttering. These are going in the trash because I just do not like them. But for lip products, I have three lip liners. I thought I had more than three. I have these two Jouer. These are long wear cream lip liners. This one is in the shade Rose Shimmer. And I do like these a lot. I have used these and they're very nice. Hello? Hello? This one is Pink Champagne. Which is also nice. These don't look like fall shades, do they? I may have to dig back through because I have quite a few lip liners. And then this is NYX. And it is in the shade Coco, which is definitely a fall shade. So those are my lip liners. I have three of those. I have one bullet, a lip gloss, and this lip cream. So for the bullet, this is MAC, and it is in the shade Whirl, which is very pretty. I love that. Love it. The NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Teddy Fluff. That's very nice as well. This is the Anastasia Lip Gloss and it is in Maple. And I am not a lip gloss girl. But this looks really pretty. Look at how pigmented that is. 
for a lip gloss. Very, very fallish. And it doesn't feel sticky. And then because I have so many lip products, because I, I don't have a final count, I will have a final count next time, but I have over 200. <laughs> mm. So I pulled out these ColourPop lippy sticks, and I have the lippy stick primer that you're supposed to use with it. So I have, this is 1000%. This is Cami. This is Capiche. These are very creamy. Why have I not been using these? I do not know. I also do not know why I do not have a liquid lipstick. This is Who Run This? Ooh. That's pretty. And I've had these for a while and they're still really good. This is Poison. Oh, that's pretty. So those are my lip choices. Due to the large amount of eyeshadow palettes that I have, I need to use eight a month to get through my entire collection in a year. So I have 12 eyeshadow palettes that remind me of Halloween that I want to use in the month of October. This is Witching Hour, the Hocus Pocus Disney collab with ColourPop. Was I gifted this palette? I believe, did Andy gift me this palette? And that is Hocus Pocus Witching Hour by ColourPop. Next we have Wicked Widow Beauty Graveyard Smash. This is a beautiful little palette. I believe I got this in an ice cream beauty box and I have used it. It is gorgeous. This is a very, very pretty palette. Very pigmented. The shadows blend very easy. It's very nice. I'm excited to use this for spooky season. Next, we have another Hocus Pocus lab with ColourPop, and this is Gather Round Sisters. <laughs> Of course, we have to do Scooby-Doo. You can't be into spooky season and not do Scooby-Doo. I have not used either one of these palettes. This is Rut Row Raggy. These are Glam Light. Those mattes look really patchy to me. But that one's just kind of blending away. I'm not very impressed with those mattes. I mean, those shimmers are amazing, but I'm not impressed with the mattes. This is Creeps and Crawls. They sure are pretty, but maybe I'm just a bad swatcher. Let's do these different. Very pretty. See, this is the scary part. Ooh. All right, let's try out the mats on this one. All right, that's better. Maybe it was just how I was swatching them. Oh, 
Of course, they're going to go on your eyeballs different. That's a pretty shade. So I would say that these did better. What do y'all think? Come on, Scooby. <laughs> I have two palettes from Spellbound Beauty. Of course, I had to include these. The first one is Coven. how pretty that is. Do y'all want me to keep on swatching? My goodness, that's pretty. Even the, even the back of the palette. It's gorgeous. Let's swatch Colt. Some of these feel very hard pan, hard pressed. And of course we had to do Nomad Haunted Europe and Ghost Town USA. Those two look very similar. I mean, they're not, but they sure do look it. Haunted Europe. Sometimes these Nomad palettes are hit or miss for me. Ghost Town. And then we have the Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty. I love this palette. Look at how gorgeous that is. Perfect, perfect Halloween palette. Now, I thought I was going to use the In the Dark palette and the Struggle Maker palette, but when I looked at them, I decided that I would not. So I'm not going to swatch them because I may not use them. They may end up in another month. I am going to leave them in the stack just in case because some of those other palettes didn't quite swatch the way I thought they would, and so now I'm a little unsure about them. But that's the reason why I'm doing all of this. So what do you think about all the products that I pulled for my October Shop My Stash? I'm quite excited about all of the possibilities. Lots of products that I have never used. A ton of beautiful colors. I'm super excited to actually get my butt up early in the mornings and use these products before I go to work instead of just grabbing for the products that I use all the time staying in my comfort zone. I love all the different shades. I'm super excited. Let me know down in the comments what you think about all the products that I picked. Do you have any of these products? What spooky 
eyeshadow palettes do you have in your collection that I may not have in mine? Let me know because, you know, you can't have too many eyeshadow palettes. It's just not a possibility. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this Shop My Stash video, there's a whole playlist right here that you can go watch. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.